Hi friends, welcome back. So today's video is going to be really interesting and this is India to launch Chandrayaan 3 in 2020. So I think I read uh, from one of your comments itself that they are planning to do it in November of 2020. So just in one more year and I guess they have Earlier it was, I think, was supposed to be done later, but I think they have now preponed it. That's mm. what I'm wonder, uh, guessing. Because one of the videos we watched, it did say that it would be sometime in 2022, I think, or 24. Uh, but now it looks like they have preponed it and they are now planning to go ahead and do this in 2020. At least that's what this video is talking about. So guys, let's go ahead and watch this. But yes, before we start watching this video, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notification of all the new videos as soon as we upload them. And after watching the video, if you like it, yes, friends, hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. So, okay, friends, let's go ahead and watch this video. See, I was saying, someone said, yeah, November 2020. Exciting, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> of course, it's going to be exciting. Here's everything you need to know about it. Oh. oh, because Chandrayaan 2 orbiter is working just fine, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Because I think in the last one, probably it was the legs that were, uh, got broken or something, were not strong enough. The maneuvers around the moon will be decreased. Instead of six, the new mission will have... Multiple committees. Definitely. 
So friends, very nice video. And I wish there was more information. I mean, it was a short video, but I would was I wanted some more details about it. But I guess it's work in progress. But really, really exciting news that they are planning to do this in November 2020. And as we, I mean, had talked in our previous videos when we did uh, Chandrayaan 2, we did talk about that this we should not consider as a failure, but as a learning. And exactly what ISRO is doing, I mean, they're learning from those uh, things and finding out what happened that did not give them complete success. I will not say failure, I would say complete success. Those are the things that they are looking into and now they're making those improvements for the next mission, which is Chandrayaan 3. So as they said, we know that they were not able to land. So now they are making sure that landing can be done better. So they're going to make the legs much stronger. And they're also looking into a lot of other things to make more improvements in. And uh, they've even got committees, multiple committees who are studying so that this time, you know, there is no chance of not having a complete success. So this is really exciting. And yes, guys, whenever we, from though we are in US, Whenever we hear about such great accomplishments about that India is doing, of course, it makes us very, very proud because sitting here, we are also representing India, right? Because everybody, you know, you, you talk to, you, you do the first time you talk to them, you do tell them, you know, we are, we are actually from India. So when these accomplishments are done, it makes us very happy and very proud. So I am really excited. And I, I mean, it's one year. And I, for me, that is a long time because I can't wait. But... I'm sure we will be, we'll succeed and with all the hard work and great scientists that we have in ISRO, this is going to be a complete success. Right. It's a beautiful video and it is very nice that they have shown what's coming up uh, in November of uh, 2020. And I think my first question obviously was that, is there going to be a lander and a rover? And they answered yeah. it that there is going to be a lander that is much enhanced so the legs are stronger even if the speed is more it can do a soft soft landing i'm sure they're going to put when this is stronger they are probably going to put more spring kind of action many other technologies so that even if it goes a little bit unbalanced it's able to settle down and then the rover comes up and it was a very good point that they showed that the orbiter is not going because the orbit is already in mm. doing his job so yeah. orbit is already in there so if the orbiter is already orbiting the moon that means orbiter would have already figured out the locations which are best for landing so maybe due to that they now need lesser maneuvers uh, because earlier the plan was that orbiter is scouting for a place to land and then the lander is going to land over here but now the orbiter is already doing its job. So it had already made a database of all the places where it is possible to do a good landing. And now when the uh, you know lander comes, it will be very quick and tell them, okay, maneuver it to so-and-so place. And they are going to try a couple of places and then land over there. Mm -hmm. So obviously, I mean, the good, the good part is that the orbiter is already there. It's doing its job. Now it becomes easier. Now they probably will also have lesser weight because earlier orbiter had to be carried too. So now you don't have the weight of the orbiter. Yeah. You only have a lighter uh, kind of uh, shuttle that's going up there that's going to do this. And um, many countries, I mean, most countries uh, like US and Russia, they have had tons of failures in their time. And uh, even NASA is like, okay, they send uh, something, it fails and they try again. So the, the only key point is perseverance. I will say that the countries don't stop. They keep trying, they keep trying till they're successful. And because it's a complicated technology, it takes time and no other country is going to tell you how to do this because these are top secret. Uh, you know, everybody is trying to be first in the space race. And that is true. In tomorrow's world, you have an artificial intelligence and the space because a lot of things can be done from the space. And now that's what India is trying to also do. So a fantastic video. And uh, we have our fingers crossed and hope that, uh, you know, uh, the Chandrayaan 3 is successful okay. and that will really, you know, um, bring India to the you know, top of the world uh, with respect to space uh, explorations. 
Yes, friends. And you also, friends, keep your fingers crossed. And we are wishing them all the best for their success. So with this, we are going to go ahead and end this video. And we'll come back again with another video very soon. Till then, take care and bye-bye. Oh, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so it notifies you when I put in my new video for you to enjoy. Bye!